So Fisheries Forum, not just science, working very, very closely with the fishing communities up here. Absolutely. Um, fishing is very important to the local communities and to Scotland as a whole. And the Fisheries Forum is working with those communities through Fisheries Innovation Scotland, through um, collaboration with Marine Scotland Science, and through Marine Scotland uh, increasingly with fishermen because it's important that they are um, incorporated into data collection scientific endeavours um, but also that they begin to appreciate the science such that they can have better confidence in the advice that's given. Yeah, it's not always been that way, has it? There was always this triumvirate of, of uh, you know, actual working fishermen, scientists and politicians and never agreeing amongst themselves. So is this, this approach, is that overcoming that kind of challenge? Yeah, I think so. Um, there are a number of projects now where scientists are working with fishermen and it works both ways, getting to understand what their problems are specifically, particularly in relation to their immediate issues with the landings obligation, this requirement to stop discarding. So there's a lot of effort in that area at the moment. Um, and then, we're all, so we're learning from them and they're also um, hopefully learning from us. What, what sort of science is happening in Scotland that's informing, um, I suppose, fisheries management into the future? OK, well, there are some examples um, being talked about at this conference, for example, um, looking at, uh, in the case of the prawn fishery, um, how, how prawns survive the catching process such that if they are um, thrown back to sea, whether they actually survive um, and therefore not part of that mortality and therefore should be perhaps exempted from the landings obligation. So that's an example of some work being done at the University of Stirling. There's some modelling work being done at the University of Strathclyde, looking at the whole um, impact um, of uh, gear on the seabed, the resuspension of sediment, does that um, act in some way to improve the productivity of the oceans and therefore um, might have a beneficial impact or is it really as damaging as it um, is per perceived to be by uh, certain people. So you know, clarifying that scientific argument, which is very important for fishermen as they look forward to potential bans on trawling, for example, because it can be, can be perceived as being destructive. So these are the kind of things, the kind of issues that are uh, two examples which are sort of pertinent to fishermen's concerns at the moment. It has been the case in the past where uh, fishery scientists have um, come up with a project and thought that would be a nice thing to pursue. How much is it the other way around now, where you're, you're being asked by the fishermen themselves, the industry, to actually look at certain aspects? Yeah, that's certainly a much uh, bigger, bigger part of uh, the commissioning exercises these days. So, for example, Fisheries Innovation Scotland um, is an initiative that was started by MAS, working with the Scottish Government and with industry partners. And that is very much industry focused. Um, so. In their last round of funding, for example, they asked the forum um, uh, to provide a review of research questions. And we've done that across the piece. And then they've gone back and consulted with industry. And the industry said, well, actually, these are the bits that we're most concerned with. And so they prioritised, um, according to what science we believed was um, required, they prioritised according to their needs. And so in the next funding call, for example, from that organisation, we suspect that we will see aspects of research that they are most concerned with and we'll have to uh, answer those obviously. And finally, how important is fisheries science to the future, the sustainable future of fisheries? Well, it's vital. It's, um, it's absolutely vital. As recognised in major international agreements, we have to um, exploit our fisheries in a sustainable manner and increasingly we have to give consideration to the rest of the marine environment as we fish and as a result of that we need scientific input to understand how to um, exploit them sustainably and then to understand the impacts of uh, fishing on the environment such that uh, other uses uh, as is being considered in, in wider marine spatial planning uses um, such that they can be um, maximised and uh, considered also.